Hello, and welcome to the first episode of a fresh playthrough on Borderlands 2. My name's Rob, and I'm from That's Us Gaming. What we're going to be doing is starting a new character. I'm going to be using the my favourite character so, in the game, want to hear another story. which will be Maya. One with a very fit of uh, I will be keeping my Banash rank bad, on, just to make things a bit easier. First, and I will not be farming for legendaries to try and consume time. Now, each episode is going to be about 20 minutes long. Uh, and you can just join me as I progress through, hopefully all the way up to OP8. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this, again, in, a, in the interest of saving time. I'm going to skip the intro and go straight to picking the character. So this is Maya the Siren. She is my favourite character. And I always go with the same outfit for Maya, which is Red Nose Reindeer. And head I go for... Ah, I forget which head I go for. It's... Nevermore. There you go. That's the one. Oh, uh, there we go. Let's confirm the character and start the game. Now, this game has a slight intro to it, which you cannot skip. You have to play it. Uh, on the first, on um, normal mode and true hunter vault, uh, true vault hunter mode, uh, but you can't. It, it will skip automatically on ultimate vault hunter mode. Wait a minute! You're not dead. Yes! Now I can get off this glacier. So as I explained, these episodes I'm going to aim to have them for about 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes each. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk my way through the game, explain what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, try and give you some explanation on the weapons I'm using, the reason I'm using them, the equipment I'm using, and again the reason I'm using it. And I understand there's a lot of Borderlands 2 content out there, but this is in a hope that someone comes to the channel, uh, hasn't had much uh, experience with Borderlands 2. And I'm hoping that, you know, just a few people get a little bit of uh, an interest from this and you never know, they might go out and get the game for themselves. Just have to wait for these things to unlock and then I can go ahead and equip what weapons I've been given. I'm going to put the sniper rifle over the assault rifle, simply because it does more damage and then you've got your SMG. Got a grenade down here, and this is what's known as a, a class mod. Uh, sorry, not a class mod, a relic. And that just boosts you throughout the game. Give you different things here and there at the moment. As you can see, that's rare loot chance. 5% boost on uh, rare loot chance. Uh, but, you know, as we progress, I'll explain things and hopefully it'll become a lot clearer. I'll just go ahead and show you that there's my badass rank. It's turned on when they play through this. Um, they turn it off uh, if they do tutorials uh, like myself. I'm going to keep it on just to make things a bit easier. Uh, and then there's your map. You know that will tell you where you need to go throughout the game, depending on which area you're in. As you can see up the top there, we're in Windshear Waste. And I'm back to my inventory. So let's so follow Clap Trap now up here. Now, a lot of people consider Claptrap a very annoying character. Personally, I like him. I think he brings a, a little bit of comedy to the game. But uh, I have heard a lot of people in the past say that they they think the game would be better without him. He does tend to take his time sometimes with this, so... Just go ahead and run, run ahead of him. And just go up here and this board should turn on in a second. Say welcome or I hate you or something like that. Well there you go, as you can see it said hate you and then it turned to welcome. So what you want to do is you progress through this game. You want to try and get as much ammo as possible. Now this game is quite generous with its ammo. Uh, you know, it, it puts vending machines around the game where you can buy ammo from, you can buy weapons from, and you can buy health from some vending machines and shields. Um, but still, you always just want to make sure, you know, you've got as much ammo as you can possibly carry. Just going to pop in here now, opening up all the boxes we can on the way, because, you know, 
you never know what's in them. And again with cash. Cash is not actually really... The only reason you need cash on this game, to be honest with you, is, is to buy ammo if you're running short. It's not massively important. That's what I've learned over playing this, you know, playing this game, you know, for the last five odd years. Right, so this is the very first vault symbol of the game. These are dotted throughout the game in various areas of different maps. And as you can see, I've just unlocked a challenge. Uh, the challenge is what gives you your badass rank, your badass points. And as you can see then, your badass points, you get to increase your stats. So when you first start playing the game, those stats down the bottom will all be at zero. And then you just build them up. They normally go up by about 0.3% each one. So as you can see, I've been playing this game for a long time. Not as long as a lot of people. There's people out there that have put many, many more hours into it than I have. But, you know, I enjoy this game. I, I don't get bored of it. It has incredible, uh, you know, this game doesn't get bored because no two playthroughs are the same. So many different guns on this game that it's it's hard to f you know to uh, find the same one twice in some situations because the stats will always change on the guns. And again, we'll just you know we'll talk about one of that as we go through. Just so in there. So there's our introduction to Knuckle Dragger. He is the first boss in the game, and he's pretty easily taken care of. Now he has a chance to drop us our first legendary. A legendary gun is. A rare gun that will have increased stats and damage. It'll always be coloured orange. So you can see these guns here are coloured white. You get green guns, blue guns, purple guns and orange guns. And they go in that, uh, in that order of uh, rarity. So white is the most common. Uh, green, blue, purple, orange. And as you can see that there is actually a legendary head. Uh, because it's orange, but you know, we've all as it says there, we've already unlocked it. So, what I'm going to do is when we get to the first vendor, I'll go ahead and sell that. Apart from the excruciating pain, this is great. I've been waiting for a mighty so, we've got to wait for Claptrap to open up the store now, and then we can go and take care of uh, take care of some bully mong. So as I explained earlier, I will not be farming on this game. Uh, and what that means is uh, certain bosses have a chance to drop you a certain weapon or a certain shield. Um, and what you can do is you can you can fight that boss and if they don't drop that weapon, shield and so forth, then you can save and quit the game, go back in and kill them over and over again until you acquire that, that item. The only thing is that can be very, very time consuming, so that's, for the sake of, you know, trying to get through this playthrough, we won't be doing that because it would just make things a hell of a lot longer. I mean, I've played this game before where I've farmed one character for well over an hour and still didn't end up with the, with the legendary item that he was, uh, that I could potentially have got off him. So well, this is where we come across the first enemies in the game now, these little bully mong. Like I said, these are really easily taken care of. So, it's the first critical headshot of the game. You know, when you always want to go for the headshots. Miss that one. You'll know when you've got a headshot because it will come up critical. Oh, missed that one. That was not good. There you go. So as you can see, where it came up critical then, that indicates that I got a headshot. Uh, now, it's not always a headshot with the enemies. Not all enemies, uh, you know, their head is not their critical spot. But, uh, when you see that word come up, you've obviously, you know, you've obviously, um, you've hit their critical spot. And as I said, it's on different parts of uh, different enemies' bodies. Again, we'll just, we'll talk to this as we go through the game, as we progress through. Now, these things over here, these are bully mong piles again. These are worth opening up. Got the time. Is there a hold cash, ammo, health? Sometimes even guns. You know, once or twice while I've been playing through legendary weapons, believe it or not. So we've got to wait for these to come out of here now. That's one. Oh, I missed that one. 
That wasn't very good, Rob. The bigger one coming up now, so we're just gonna use the SMG on him because it's a rapid fire. And then we gotta get Claptrap because he's falling in the snow. Well, so the aim of the first uh, episode is I'm just gonna get to Liasburg, so that's kind of like the first town in the game. As soon as you get there, we'll, we'll call it an end of the episode, and then episode two will obviously progress onwards from that one. Now, I haven't decided at the moment uh, whether we're going to try and do one episode a week or two episodes a week. It probably won't be more than two episodes a week. Uh, but we'll just see, you know, how many views the episodes get, sort of comments that we get, and, you know, if people want more... By all means, we'll we'll try our best to get more content out. So, one thing I didn't explain is my hub. So we'll just wait for this little cutscene to finish, and we'll take down Knuckle Dragger, and then I'll explain the hub to you. Hub, sorry, the heads up display. Oh, he's gone up there now. These little ones come out of here. Take care of them, nice and easy. And let's just try and finish Knuckle Dragger off. Oh, thank you, Knuckle Dragger. I think quite like a cow in the face. There you go. Well, that's him dead. And look at that, look at that. He's dropped his legendary pistol. So we've got. The Hornet on the first attempt. So as you can see, that's glowing orange. Which indicates legendary. Let's just have a look and see how okay, good this is. Now this will massively uh, benefit the playthrough. Because it will just make things a lot easier. So let's just go and have a look at that. And there you go. That's a, that's a, decent, that's a decent gun. Not a great sight on it, but uh, there you go. It's a Hornet. I'm happy with it. It's a legendary. It's the first one, so... And we'll use this now, and this gun could last us up till maybe level 10, 15, maybe even 20. Now, this gun is a corrosive weapon. So that's what that little symbol down the bottom means. Uh, and what corrosive means is it, it, it's basically it's, a, it's an acid gun. So it's very, very good against, uh, uh, you know, uh, flesh enemies, but also against metallic enemies. Uh, the other elements are explosion, shock, and fire. And there's also another one just for this game that's called slag. And what that does is when you slag an enemy, they make them a lot easier to defeat. So again, we just got to wait for Claptrap to get us through this door. Gonna take a quick drink of water. There you go. Alright, so there's a little chest when we come through here now that will well, always, nice in all playthroughs, in normal mode, true vault in the mode, and other vault uh, vault in the mode, will have a white shotgun. And I'm pretty sure it's always a white Jacob shotgun. Now, we would be equipping that gun had we had not just got the Hornet. But seeing as we've got this gun, uh, the shotgun is kind of not very relevant now. So we're just going up in this. There's the white shotgun. Now it's actually more damage than the uh, the Hornet. Overall damage, if you look at the top, 12 times 7. Uh, and it's a two shot as well. Magazine size of two, so it's not too bad. Take a quick look at it. There you go, there's the, uh, the white shotgun. Let's just go and look at that. There you go, there's the Hornet. Oh, as I said, what we're going to do, we're going to equip the Hornet and we're going to use this. Let's turn this in so you can see he's got a green uh, question mark above his head. And my characters have that, or bounty boards have that. Again, I'll explain that, what that is later. 
that uh, shows that there's a item, to t uh, a quest to turn in. So there you go, 53 XP for that. So a quick little uh, information on my hub. Down the bottom left, you can see my health is 121. In the middle, that is my leveling up bar and my level. And I'm level. I guess that's two. I can't really see at the moment because there's a, a bar in the way for the uh, the stream. And on the right hand side is my grenades, a top bar which is zero three at the moment, and then underneath is my ammo. At the top right is the map, which shows me where I am and where I need to go, and so forth. And again, I know there's a lot of people out there that will watch this, and they probably play this game a lot. Probably a lot more than me, but I'm hoping there's a few out there that have never played this game. They've always kind of uh, wondered what this game was like, and I just hope this can be uh, a little bit educational for, for some people. So we've got to go down here now, and there's some bully mong. You get to see the first uh, I was really good at the first, one. first glance of what the uh, the hornet's like and what it can do. So here you go. There you go. So that is now the hornet is always a dial weapon. And what a dial weapon means is if I'm not zoomed in, if I'm not looking down my sights, it's a it's a one fire. It does that. But as soon as I zoom in, it burst fires. So it does this. And all dial weapons do that. That's the benefit. Each each different maker of uh, weapons. So there you go. That's Dahl. That's Jacobs. Uh, uh, Vladov. Vladov is very high fire rate. Uh, uh, Jacobs is normally uh, really good damage. And uh, there's Bandit, which will normally have huge magazine size. And Iperion, which has very good accuracy, but only after sustained fire. So when you start firing with a uh, Hyperion weapon, it's it's not very good, but the more you fire, the better the accuracy gets. Anyway, let's just... What we're going to do now is we're going to unlock the character of Captain Hammerlock. Uh, not Captain Hammerlock, sorry, Sir Hammerlock. What am I on about Captain Hammerlock? After the amount of time i played this game, you'd think I know what I was talking about. Right, so, just easily wipe these out. Again, with this gun, it makes it so much easier. As you can see, the, it, it's it's not even a challenge. It's it's so simple. And this is basically why you want to go for legendary weapons throughout the game, because you want to make it as easy as possible. I mean, don't forget, as I said, I've got my badass rank on, which again is is helping. But you know, everyone's got the. Uh, the choice to turn their ballast rank off. We've got now. They don't normally do this, to be honest. Put out of ammo on that, so. With with the rack, normally if you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone, but. You just gotta. Let me see. I've just leveled up. We've got more rack coming in in the distance. Let's go and take care of these from here. There you go, that's that done. So now we've got to go and uh, activate Sir Hammerlock. Quickly take care of these. But if you touch this fence, it will electrocute you. There you go, let little clap, clap trap go first. And let him take the. Uh, Execution. Apologies, but when Claptrap speaks, I feel my brain cells committing suicide one by one. I shall be out directly. So here he is. This is Sir Hammerlock. A pleasure to meet you, Volt Hunter. I am Sir Hammerlock. At your service. I came out here to research and then once he's restored Claptrap's eye, he will have a couple of missions for us. Many thanks for disposing of them, by the way. To survive a direct run in the Ransom Jack and defeat Captain Red's... You just gotta wait for him to do that now. There you go, so he's... From what I hear, the Crimson Raiders there could use a hero like you. There you go, we can now give him the eye. And then we can go in here because there is a gun vendor in here. Which you're able to use. 
Oh, and uh, sorry, I forgot there's Malawan guns as well, and they're normally elemental. Uh, I really love Malawan guns. I think they're brilliant. Uh, right, so I'm going to sell what I don't need here. I'm not using any of this. So I'm going to keep that simply because it's fa uh, cut fire rate. These can go because they're just not, not important. So what Hammerlock will do now is go and turn the power on for, the, for Lyersburg. Which will get us to this vending machine. Which you can see gives you health and meds. Oh, I'll take that, that's worth having. And then there's this one over here. Which as you can see is your ammo dump. And you know, it's straightforward. You can just buy your ammunition from there, including uh, grenades. Uh, but I don't think there's grenades in this one just yet. But it gets to a certain point of the game where all of them will have grenades. Just wait for him to turn this on. There you go, and that exclamation mark will turn to a question mark at some point. There's. There you go, that took a bit longer than usual. And then we can turn that in. And as you can see, he's given us a shield. That will auto-equip. And you can see down in the bottom left there, then. I've now got a shield, so... So there you go, guys. That's going to be the end of episode one. As I said, I'm going to try and keep them to about 20 minutes each. Uh, but, you know, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. Any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment. And, as always, feel free to subscribe. Um, again, my name is Rob for Lassus Gaming, and I will see you in the next episode. Okay, take care, goodbye.